welcome back to my channel. In this video I will explain my process of painting a wallaby in a field of flowers. I have linked the reference image in the description box. Before I started filming I did a loose sketch on the canvas with a pencil. You can decide whether you want to do that or not. Also this step here is optional as well, using flow release to create a background based color for the canvas. This way there won't be any white spots coming through when I paint. Then we will start blocking in the base colors. It is a good idea to start from a mid-tone. If you look at the reference image, you can see dark, light and mid-tones on the fur. If you start with a mid-tone for the base, it is then easier to build up layers of the other colors. For the background I used water to blend the acrylic color as seen here. I don't need the background to be as much in focus as the wallaby. After this I used the hairdryer to dry the work. Remember to use your hair dryer to dry up the paint between layers. It's not always visible on this video when I use the hair dryer. Next, start to slowly build up the layers on the wallaby. Study the reference picture carefully. Where can you see dark colors? Mix your colors accordingly and use water to thin out the paint. The key is to build the layers slowly with slightly thinned out paint so that later you can add the fur detail with a thicker paint. A fan brush is very useful when you create fur. Next you can start on the grass. Fan brush is also useful to create grass patterns. Similar to the wallaby, study the reference image and how the color of the grass changes depending on the light source. I also made the top part of the grass blurrier and lighter. Next use a small brush to start to build up the fur detail. It's best to do the dark parts first and then do the highlighting later. I had trouble with the lighting of the fur on the face for a while. Here the wallaby looks like it has a beard. Be careful with how much white you use as it can get overpowering quite easily. For another layer of fur detailing go with a lighter color. Use either a detailer or a fan brush. For the face detail use a tiny brush and very carefully with the tip of the brush create the texture of the shorter fur. To create the flowers mark them around the wallaby first with white ink and then add the violet color. Next use a dark green color and a small brush to mark the flower stems loosely. For the background I did another flow release wash over the upper part with a bit of yellow paint in. You can probably just use water to thin the acrylic for a similar effect if you don't have flow release. Next I will add more texture to the flowers. The paint is much thicker here and it is a bit pinker as well. Finally, do the highlighting with white paint. Be careful not to overdo it though. I also added some white dots on the flowers so they look nicer and also this way both the wallaby and the flowers have white on them. It is hard to know when to stop with a painting like this go with the flow but every 10 minutes or so step back and see whether it still needs more work. I could have worked more on the fur here but I was not going for completely realistic painting so I decided to stop. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. I post new art videos every week.